Black Friday was a fail. Happy Friday, so I know yesterday I didn't vlog too much. It was Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. So basically we just went to the Lions game and then we went over to Royal Park Hotel for dinner with my dad and brothers. Um, I switch on and off every year with my mom and dad and last year I was in Haiti. So this year's with my dad. My grandma is now like in a living, senior living home. So normally we would kind of have, you know, your normal like traditional family Thanksgiving at one of our houses, but we actually already celebrated Thanksgiving a couple weeks early where my grandma lives. Um, just because it's easier for her to do it where she is instead of taking her to someone's home. But besides that, that's why we went to a restaurant for Thanksgiving, which was okay, but the Lions game was fun. It was a good day, beautiful, very thankful for everything I have. So now it is Friday, and I am headed over to Fran's house. Fran's home from school, and Nicole's coming over, so we're just going to have a girl's day. I don't know. We might go shopping. We might go take some pics. Don't really know exactly what's up. I need to grab some Starbucks. It's way later in the day. It's like 2.30. I've just been home all morning and slept in quite a bit. Um, and then later tonight, I think we're going to meet up with some of the boys and have dinner with them. If you guys don't know who these people are, um, they're in my previous vlogs. Just all my friends. Everyone's home from college, so it's really nice to be able to see everyone. I really want to go to the Apple store and check out the new iPads because I'm kind of in the market to get an iPad and I want to see what they look like. So I'm hoping we can go do that. I don't know what we're going to do. It's just going to be whatever we feel like doing no exact plan oh my god I just broke my nail I literally just broke my nail while I was talking to you guys normally my nails don't break like that if I haven't even had these for that long well there we go so <laughs> happy Friday I'll see you guys later it's like dark it's dark what song I just stay here. Turk, Turk. Black Friday was a fail. No, don't go. Lines are too long. We're gonna just... do it online and <laughs> Cyber Monday! Fran, where's your seatbelt? much later now I'm back home and I've been home actually for quite a while I've been doing some online shopping we were at the mall today and Black Friday is so insane especially now with like online shopping because I found so many cute things pretty good deals but then I don't want to wait in the long line so it's 
kind of silly because the same deals are online anyways so I literally didn't buy anything today at the mall um, but now I have all these tabs open on my laptop of different stores I want to get stuff from but I have to pick and choose um, and I actually need a few things like I need a holiday dress so that's something I really want to get Glossier is having a huge discount so I really want to pick up some stuff from them side note anyways it's almost like 11 o'clock but I'm gonna go to the gym I just want to like walk on the treadmill for a couple miles, just do a little bit of something just because I didn't go all day today and I didn't go yesterday for Thanksgiving. So yeah, let's get our gym clothes on. First, I want to show you what I was wearing today. I have these boyfriend jeans from Brandy Melville. It is a one size fits all and I just got lucky enough that these fit me perfectly because girl, it is hard to find boyfriend jeans that are made for you. Um, I also cut, cut the bottoms of them. It did come with like a normal hem, but I cut them to make them a little more like, I don't know, easier to wear for me and show some ankle. And then I'm wearing this cute little black cardigan from Urban. I have a black bralette underneath. And then this belt is from Urban gold buckle um, and then some big gold hoops and a few rings and I just let my hair air dry today it kind of has like this flipping thing going on sometimes I hate it sometimes I love it it was acting pretty good today so that was my outfit and what shoes was I wearing I was just wearing my Jeffrey Campbell like a rain boot black booties but now we need to put our leggings on so here is my little workout outfit tonight it's actually pretty cozy i have these little sporty leggings from fashion nova it's a set that comes with the top i think i've showed these on my channel before they're super soft and casual and inexpensive i will link them down below for you guys normally i would never wear these to the gym but since i'm not like going to be working now, i'm just going to go on the treadmill for a little bit these are perfect for a late night gym sesh and then just this black cotton tank from I think it's from Target and I'm still wearing my black bralette so basically I'm just wearing like cozy clothes to the gym since I'm not going to be doing anything crazy I usually throw like a hoodie on and wear that while I walk till I warm up and sweat a little bit then I'll take it off to grab my airpods which are the best thing ever and let's go It's now midnight. I just got back in my car from working out. It was pretty good. I walked a mile, ran a little bit in that mile, and then I went over and stretched for a bit, and then I was just trying to do arm workouts. I've never done arm workouts. Did, let me see here. So whenever I used to do arm workouts, it would just be like on a machine and I would just do it to kind of change things up because I would always do butt and legs. Um, that's just, it's my favorite and it's easy to do. But I've noticed recently that I gain all my weight in my arms, so it's a problem and I need to fix it. And that's kind of why I've gotten back in the gym because it has gotten so bad. Like all my fat is in my arms and I'm short, so you can really tell. And anyways, I was trying to learn some arm workouts just on a mat, so I was looking up YouTube videos and I just followed a couple YouTube videos of easy arm workouts. My memory card's about to run out, I can tell. Um, so yeah, I just did a bunch of like circling and I did some push-ups, jumping jacks, just some cardio easy stuff. And then I was going to go over to the machines. I had like 10 minutes before the gym closed, um, but I don't know how to work them. And they were like, my memory card ran out of room. But there was a bunch of people like on the workout things and I always get like super awkward because you have to like try and read the machines and then try and make it work. And I always have to adjust stuff because I'm too short, blah, blah, blah. So I was like awkwardly sitting there and I was like, never mind, forget it. So I ended up not doing any of the machines. But I still had an hour workout. I was there from 11 and now it's midnight. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna show you guys what I do for my skincare because it's so simple and you guys ask all the time. It's still the exact same thing as my skincare routine on my channel, which I will link up here for you guys. Up here, I always do that on the wrong side. Up here for you guys. Um, the only things I don't use anymore are my prescriptions from my dermatologist just because I ran out and my skin is so clear that I don't like putting those on my face when my skin's doing well. Um, but if you do need that for your acne, I would suggest asking your dermatologist first. Anyways, 
side note so let's go home i want to show you guys what i do for my skincare super easy at night i'm gonna jump in the shower and then probably just get right in bed and go to bed okay we are back home we're in the bathroom say hi harry so basically in the shower, or if I wasn't taking a shower, I'm taking off my makeup. I use the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. This is some of the best stuff. It's kind of expensive, but it lasts you quite a while and nothing else works like this. This is especially best if you wear like full face makeup, which, which I do weekly. So that's kind of why I love this so much. If you're someone who wears minimal makeup, I don't think you need to spend the money on something like this. Um, maybe just use a micellar water or whatnot. So I'll use this first. Apply it on my face, dry in the shower, and then rinse it off, which takes off all my makeup. And then I go in with my Good and True CeraVe facial cleanser. It's like the most basic cleanser at the drugstore. It's only like 15 bucks for this huge bottle. It'll last you forever. It's super gentle, doesn't smell like anything, and it just cleans your face nice and gentle and then I also have the matching moisturizer which is in a blue bottle that is in my room so I'll use this in the shower wash my face then when I get out of the shower move baby I use um, witch hazel toner I got this one from CVS I do like this one on the screen a lot more but I just picked this up recently and I was in need of it so I've been using this one it works just as good but any kind of witch hazel I use on my face and I swear that's like the secret ingredient and then after I apply this I will go in with my CeraVe moisturizer which I'll put on the screen right here as well so that's basically all I do super super simple again watch my skincare video because I go in a little bit more detail but I wanted to share that with you guys so let's get clean he literally has to be with me like no matter what I'm doing when I'm showering when I'm going to the bathroom when I'm in my room if I'm eating right honey I never want to be alone Hey guys, I know this is a terrible view, but it's just easy to set you guys down right there, so... So this morning my dad and I got up, ran some errands for my party because my party is this Saturday. Guys, this is like a huge party I'm throwing. The only parties I've ever thrown before are like... You know, let me move you. This is not gonna work. So anyways, the only parties I've ever really thrown in my life have been in like high school and literally middle school. Like I always had a lot of the parties in high school, um, which is a completely different thing. You're just having friends over basically. I've never thrown a legit like professional party, especially something that's related to my brand because it's like so important to me. I'm inviting over 125 people plus they all have plus one so that's over 200 people so my estimated count is like 200 with people not showing up obviously and i'm doing it at my office space we have this huge beautiful space upstairs on the third floor we started planning this about two and a half weeks ago i'm, I'm working with an event planner i told you guys about her and it just kind of snuck up on us and the hardest thing about doing an event is there's only so much you can do until the day of like I wish I could set it all up right now and feel like it's all done but obviously I can't especially because people work in this event space my dad and I ran some errands this morning went to Target we got some things I'm doing like a DIY photo backdrop which I'm gonna be painting tonight so I'll show you guys how I do that and then we went to the office to, we have to like cover up windows and doors to kind of test that out and then I was like showing my dad about all these things out because there's going to be a bar and then a DJ. I'm going to have my merch set up for my launch. Um, and then I'm going to have like couches and stuff. My dad was like, Emily, like there is no room in here for all this stuff and 200 people. 
but there is like a back room to the office space that I wasn't gonna really use just I didn't want to but now I feel like I have to so basically I have to like change around my plans quite a bit and I need to email some people to make sure things are on track I need to get some stuff paid for um, I need to schedule when people are coming it's just like I feel like all of a sudden everything hit me at once and I'm freaking out I just drove to Hobby Lobby, I dropped my dad off at home, drove to Hobby Lobby to return a bunch of stuff that I ended up not needing because my event planner has it for me. And they're closed on Sunday. Like, why are you just closed? And it's not like that close to my house, so I'm pissed. I should have looked it up, but I didn't. I'm not sure they would have been open. So I guess I'll have to do that another day. Just wasted like over a half hour of my time when I'm already freaking out enough. But I think I'm gonna go home and just get to painting my photo backdrop and then I'll probably just hop on my laptop and do a bunch of the organizing and work behind that. Got my two paint colors. I got these at Lowe's, they're just samples and they were under four bucks. So color match that to my logo and I just got a black one. Got this twin sheet from Target. We're gonna get to painting. So I'm back home. Um, you guys just saw me and Kelly. We went to a common flower gathering dinner. It's a local brand or company or event company. Um, one of my friends owns it, Kazmira, and I love her. So we went to support her tonight. It was a lovely dinner, a lovely event. Yeah, I just got home. I picked up a few things from Rococo because I was working there this morning. So I wanted to show you guys those pieces. One of them is the dress I'm wearing. Um, and then I also ordered some stuff from Nordstrom and I went and picked it up today. So I want to show you guys them really quick. Just a little mini haul within this vlog. So I guess let's start with this one first. From Rococo, I got this long dress and I actually just picked it up today for the event because um, I needed something to wear. So it's this navy blue like rust color and light blue dress with these buttons along the side and then it kind of slits the bottom. You can see there. Excuse my room. Like again it happens every time you guys see it get messy then you watch me clean it in a vlog and then it happens all over again but it does have a nice turtleneck it's super fitted i just love it it's super cozy classy and cute and also i'll try and link these things from rococo um down below not everything goes online on their site but i can try and see which pieces are online so if they are i will link them down below next i got this top this normally isn't something i'd get but i feel like this is a very nice businessy appropriate top if i just need something to put on with jeans and look put together so it's this snakeskin turtleneck but i love the neck because it's like that stretchy turtleneck and i think it just looks really pretty with my short hair um, long sleeve, super soft material. It has that same stretchy detail at the sleeve and then the bottom like 
ties so you can kind of tie it in the front and let it like hang in a bow or you can tie it in the back you can kind of do whatever you want with this but then I got this dress and I was actually gonna wear this one tonight but then I found this one and I was like I really like this longer one especially how cold it is outside it's kind of like a cozy knit um but I got this turtleneck dress it's a similar material like super thick and fitted I got everything in a size small by the way so the top has kind of like a ruffly neckline. It's a really pretty rust color. So this one's definitely more fitted than the dress I'm wearing right now. And I think it's supposed to be a mini dress, but it goes a little bit longer on me, which I kind of like. So it's kind of like in between a midi and a mini. And it just feels so good and stretchy. You guys will probably be seeing me wear this very soon. Um, but I love it. I feel like it's just a classic with over-the-knee boots, with tights, with heels, with more casual shoes and then i also picked it up in gray because it just fit so well so i needed both colors just such a basic dress i'm always going to events and different things where i need something simple put together professional and warm and i thought these were good choices so from nordstrom funny story i actually bought these pieces with one of my photographers and we shot in it um and then we returned the pieces after we did a shoot and i loved the outfit so much that i was like i need to go back and she was like yeah that looked so good on you like it fit you perfectly they weren't super expensive so i picked them up so it is this uh oh there's only one thing in here i'm missing one thing okay well it was this dress with it so i got this white sweater it's just a white kind of kind of cowl neck sweater and then it has a bigger wider sleeve and this black stitching i love the black stitching on it but i got this like a long white dress a long sleeve white dress same material as this and it has v-neck and buttons but i threw this sweater over the dress then it looked like a sweater with like a white skirt and it looked very classy and pretty and warm but i guess i didn't get the dress i did like that online thing where you order it on the app and you pick it up in store but it's not in my bag i never checked my bag i should have but it's not on my receipt either darn it i really want that dress i wanted the dress more than the sweater because i can wear the dress on its own okay well it got canceled but this is the dress it's only 49 dollars and it fits so nice they had a size extra small so that's why i got it so it's just a white cream knit long sleeve dress with buttons and then I guess maybe I'll try and pick up the dress tomorrow instead because I know it's such a staple. Anyways, the last thing I got. I've been wanting these shoes since summer and it was probably not the best idea to buy them now, but they were still on the website and I was doing the pickup so I like added them to my bag last minute. Um, they are these Steve Madden Bedazzled Slides. I don't know how much I'll wear these in the winter time, but they're just so cute. They look like this. Like how... Fun. I'm not normally a slides person, but these look so cute on. Like, I'm telling you guys, these look so much different on than they do, like, on a shelf. I don't know how to explain it, but, like, this with, like, a white t-shirt and some ripped jeans and then throw these on. Like, how cute. Plus, I feel like I could probably use these for, like, holiday. If I don't want to wear a heel, I can throw these on and they're a little bit more festive. But these are definitely, like, more summery shoes, in my opinion. That's all for the haul. What time is it? It's pretty late. It's almost 10 o'clock. I think I'm going to try and clean up my room a little bit because I have some filming to do. Also some editing to do. Um, which I want to do tomorrow at home. So I want a nice clean room to get that stuff done in. I have a meeting at 12. I need to get my car done. And then I need to go to my office and get work done. So I have quite a few things to do before my party this Saturday. And Vlogmas starts on Friday. So... I guess let's just get to cleaning. Okay guys, this is the before. And after. So I just finished cleaning my room. It's looking pretty good. I need to do my bed tomorrow because I feel like it's just dirty again from Harry. Um, and then I need to figure out a chair situation for here so I can have a chair. That's garbage. And I need to figure out where to put my bags. I also bought this hook thing to hang on my wall over here 
for like coats, jackets, and purses because I don't have any like hooks. And we have really old doors, so I could never use the like over the door hooks. So I bought this, but I lost the screws right when I bought it. So I need to find those screws so I can get this in the wall. Um, then I can hang up like my purse and keys, and just jackets that are laying around. Um, and then I need to find like a little storage place to put my work bags. I just, I like everything having its own home. So figure that out. This chair is actually supposed to go by my desk. So I think I'm gonna put this back by my desk cause the golds match. And then I want just like a little white stool that I can push underneath there. Yeah, and tomorrow I'm finally filming my video using this palette and the brush set. I've literally not even opened, well I've opened and looked at it, but I haven't swatched, haven't used, haven't touched anything till I film that video. So I'm super excited to do that tomorrow. I think that's it. It is Tuesday night and I think I'm just going to end the vlog here and get to editing so this video can go up for you guys tomorrow on Wednesday. So happy Wednesday if you're watching this when I upload it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Get ready for Vlogmas because the next vlog on my channel will be Vlogmas Day 1. You guys better be ready. I'm super excited. We're going to start off Vlogmas Day 1 with setting up the Christmas tree and then Vlogmas day two you guys will see my party that's this saturday so i'm gonna be super busy for the rest of the week and i will see you guys in my next video on friday bye